Good day students and teachers at Central Foundation. We are Mariama and Nilufa, reporting to you from the David Sharp Theatre. Breaking headlines today, we have news from Iraq that women are reportedly being treated worse than they were during Saddam Hussein's reign. Also in the news today, women in Iran have been banned from tucking their trousers into their boots. Also today, we have some interesting news on greenhouse gases. Enjoy! Moreover, we have another radical report on legroom on airplanes. Woohoo! Legroom! <laughs> Finally, to finish off, Aisha has a fascinating report on the Northern Lights. Spooky! Under Saddam Hussein's rule, women were badly treated, but now they are treated even worse, so says a reporter from The Guardian. Lots of women in Iraq were tortured, assaulted and murdered day by day when Saddam Hussein was the president. After he died on the 30th December 2006, matters have become more serious. The whole of 2007 has been hell for some women in Iraq. Many have been sold, raped, murdered, stoned to death and burned. Teenager Dua Khalil Aswad was dragged outside by a group of men and stoned for half an hour until she died. In a separate incident, a large group of men from Yazidi Kurdish killed a deserted, desert, deserted teenager whose only crime was running away and marrying a Muslim man. We asked some students in an East London school what they think about this situation. What do you think other countries should do to protect the right of women in Iraq? Well, I think, yeah, they should try electing a new leader and making new laws because right now men think they can do whatever they want. And they think they're free. Well, yeah, they think they're free, so like they don't have no one to listen to. Thank you. This is Visa reporting for News Report. Women in Iran are not allowed to tuck their trousers in their boots, so says the Guardian. Twice as many policemen will tackle immoral behaviour. CFJ students are allowed to tuck their trousers into their boots. I'm going to find out what students think about the situation in Iran. Adama, in Iran you're not allowed to tuck your trousers into your boots. What do you think about this? I think that that's unfair because it's only really women that do that for fashion and I feel that that's being bi biased towards women and also why is this law only passed in Iran? Why isn't it passed in other countries? I think that's outrageous really because it's like it's women's fashion to wear that and like it's their choice and it's their property to do that so I don't really think that's a good rule on Thank you, interviewees. This is Jessica reporting for The School Report. Hi, today I will be talking about greenhouse gases and how they are causing global warming. Yesterday, ministers from 120 countries met to discuss saving the world from climate change. People met outside the venue to campaign about raising awareness of climate change. They did this by inflating balloons outside the conference. I've spoken to our citizenship teacher, Miss Armstrong, to find out what she thinks about global warming. Do you think the amount of greenhouse gases should be cut down from 40 to 20 percent? Yes, definitely. I think we have a major problem in the world today with the environment and global warming and greenhouse gases are one of the major contributors to the effects of global warming and we definitely need to do something now to try and serve the world for the future. Thank you. This is Charlie for reporting for BBC News School Report. Hello, my name is Ramina. Today I'm going to interview students and teachers about how they feel about sitting inside a plane when they don't have enough space. Doctors say this causes blood clots in their legs. I'm going to find out about what students and teachers think. Is cost or comfort important? So, when it comes to aeroplane, what do you think is important? Cost or comfort? Cost. Because um, I think I'll get the best value of money. I think comfort because I'd rather pay more for more comfort. Personally, when it comes to air travel, I think that cost is more important. Why is cost so important to you? Well, there's such a wide variety of uh, ticket prices on air travel. I tend to look for the best deal that suits me. Cost. Why is cost important for you? Because I'm cheap. <laughs> This is Rubina, reporting for BBC School News Report. This is Aisha. Today I'm interviewing pupils and teachers from Central Foundation Girls School to see what they know about Northern Lights. And no, I'm not talking about the book. Do you know what the Northern Lights are? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea of what they might be? Well, it seems like most people don't know what the Northern Lights are. Sir, could you help us out? Well, the Northern Lights, um, the technical term for it is Aurora Borealis. 
And the reason it happens is because that the sun is kicking out millions and billions of charged particles like, flying through space towards Earth every second of every day. And what happens when those particles hit the outside of the Earth's atmosphere, then they hit the Earth's magnetic field, some of their energy gets turned into light energy, so we see the shimmering patterns in the sky. Thank you, sir. This is Aisha, reporting for BBC News School Report. Well, it looks like we have reached the end of another year again. So we wish you all a happy Eid and a Merry Christmas. And finally, have a nice day, fellow citizens of Setri Foundation. Ciao! Ciao.